hello guys welcome to the next video tutorial on android app development for beginners and in this video we will see how to use time picker dialog in android in the last video we have seen how to use time picker in android and the main issue you can say with time picker is that it occupies a large space in android activity and time picker dialog you can use when you want to utilize your activity space and this time picker dialog can pop up when some button is pressed so you can uh, you know efficiently utilize the space inside the activity so let's see how we can use time picker dialog in android so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, take a button and I will change the text of this button as show time picker dialog. Okay, and we just need this uh, button in order to uh, open the time picker dialog. So we will directly go to the main activity.java file. So just go to your Java folder and open your main activity.java and in here we will write the code for time picker dialog. So first of all, uh, let's create the object for button. So button, button stpd for show time picker dialog, right? And we will also create three variables for uh, minute hour and dialog id okay so let's create those three variables first will be the dialog id which is an integer so let's create it static final int dialog id and i can initialize it with zero and now we are going to declare two variables which will uh, be uh, holding the hour and minute for us using time picker right so int hour and int minute for example and let's uh, add some other text to minutes for example minute x and hour x so that uh, it can be uh, you know identified as user defined variables okay so once we have created these three variables what we can do is we can create a method in which we can call uh, this uh, button click event and inside this button click event we can call our show dialog method to show this time picker okay so let's create a public method public void show time picker dialog for example and this is a user defined method which we are creating and in here we are going to uh, cast our button okay so button is equal to button find view by id r dot id dot button now once you have casted your button you can use this button object to call set on click method okay so set on click listener on the button object and inside the set on click uh, method we can use new on click listener okay and once you call this new on click listener inside this on click method you can call a method called show dialog and this method you can use to pop up the dialog okay 
and the dialog type we can define it later but uh, what we are going to do is we will pass this dialog id in here in show dialog okay now what we are going to do is we are going to call a inbuilt method like on create method there is a method called on create dialog similar to this on create method which is a built in method right so you can even copy this much amount of code from here and what we are going to do is let's uh, create this method above this show time uh, picker dialog okay so let's create this method here or you can create uh, below your show time picker dialog method which we have created so just uh, create a method which is overriding uh, protected void on create dialog okay so create this method and this will take one argument which will be id okay and now what you can do is uh, let's return a dialog uh, using this method so in here just return a dialog okay because we want to show the dialog so we will return uh, the dialog using this method now what we are going to do is we will compare the id which is passed uh, as an argument to the dialog id we, which we have declared above right so if this id is equal to the dialog id which we have declared which is this one then what we are going to do is we are going to return return new time picker dialog okay and this takes you can see this takes uh, one two three four four or five arguments you can see it here first is the context context can be your class in which you are working so main activity dot this and second argument is the time dialog so this uh, for example right now we create a, a variable which we are going to define later okay so time picker listener for example okay third argument you can pass hour which we have defined and minute is the fourth argument minute x and hour x these two variables we have defined above right like here right so these uh, two variables we will pass as third and fourth arguments and the last argument and the fifth argument it takes is what format of uh, you know dialog time picker dialog you want to show is it a uh, 24 hour format or 12 hour format so, and by default uh, it asks for the 24 hours which we don't want so i will set it false okay so once you have uh, done now by default if this condition is not fill, fulfilled what we are going to do is we are going to return by default null if this condition is not fulfilled okay in any other condition we are going to return false okay now let's create this time picker listener variable okay so what we are going to do is we are go going to declare this uh, variable so let's uh, declare it it will be protected and let's create some space here and it will be time picker dialog dot on time set listener and the name of the variable is this one which we are going to declare is equal to new time set listener okay so on time set listener okay 
So what we have done, we have uh, declared a protected uh, variable which is time picker dialog dot on time set listener and we have declared the same variable which we have passed here is equal to new time picker dialog dot on time set listener and it will be created automatically and don't forget to close this by semicolon and in here inside this on time set method first of all what we are going to do is we are going to uh, set the values of hour and minute so just copy your hour variable which we have declared above in here in on time set method is equal to you can see here it takes two arguments one is hour of day which represents the hour of day as the name, name suggests and second variable we can assign to this minute underscore x variable which we have declared is equal to minute here okay which is the third argument here okay now once we have assigned these two variables we can uh, call these uh, you know variables using for example toast to so we can show what's the value inside these two variables toast dot make text and the context you can take this context once again comma the the text you want to show so for example we want to show first of all our plus and then colon minute value okay plus minute and the third variable is the duration so toast dot length short and then we will show our dialogue okay now don't forget to call this show time picker dialogue method which we have created by ourselves so just copy this show time picker dialogue method which we have created and call it inside your on create method okay so copy and paste it here okay now everything is done so we are going to run our program so now our app is running and you can see this button and whenever we click this uh, show time picker dialog button so i am going to click this button show time picker it's going to uh, you know show you this time picker dialog okay and you can uh, set the time whatever you want so hours and for example 4 hour 30 minute and i'm going to change time to pm and when i click ok here you can see the time 16 30 okay so in this way you can use uh, time picker dialog in and in your android activity i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now